Libra land. Let's do a love reading. February 2022. We're going to use the aging of love cards as long as long as <laughs> along with the light seers tarot. Yes, I've pre-shuffled and we have justice at the bottom. There's your energy, Libra, our energy. Also, the Hungarian gypsy cards are here. Jealousy, Libra. There will be jealousy around this love connection. This is a singles love reading for Libra, February 2022. Activation love cards. Talking about using your discernment says you are developing the skills to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. Libra. Let's use the tarot first. One shuffle for a six card future love tarot spread for Libra. Let's go. Thank you, spirit. <laughs> Knight of Pentacles. So many of us single Librans are on our money journeys. Right, Libra? You're on the money trail. Yes. Good fortune follows you all of your days, Libra. Libra's future true love. First card. Libra's future true love. Oh, wow. Wow. Three of Swords. This person could be another Libra. We have Scorpio Energy, Death and Rebirth card at the bottom. This person could be currently going through a rebirth and transformation, a very powerful one in their life right now, Libra. They could be trying to heal from karmic or third party energy type of heartbreak. Your person is currently healing from heartbreak, Libra. Your future true love. Will the attraction be instant? Will the attraction be instant? Wow. Okay. Scorpionic energy. Whew. Speaks of obsession. Um, that mysterious magnetic pull. Yes, this attraction will be instant and very powerful. You may be caught up in your mind at first. Eight of Swords at the bottom. Never again let anyone confuse you mentally, Libra. And try to make it seem like you are someone else other than who you are not, okay? Other than who you truly are. Don't let anyone ever confuse you again. Message with that Eight of Swords at the bottom. What will the person be like? Oh, thank you, spirit. I'll put that back. What will the person be like? Eight of Pentacles. They will be very money focused. Financial forward focus. Money on their mind. She's holding a green money candle. This person may know a thing about the moon cycles. They may work with the moon. You may meet this person through some type of business. Work. Endeavor. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. This person might be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Very financially focused person. Okay. 
We have a Queen of Wands energy, masculine Librans. This person may be a fire sign, very attractive queen. This person's very powerful. They know their power, this queen. They may have a cat. Challenges. What will the challenges be for Libra and this person in the relationship? Top card. <laughs> the amount. Oh, the slow, very slow. I heard this person is very methodical. Your person is very methodical, Libra. They move very slow. <laughs> but again, money trail. They're following the money trail. Again, Libra energy. Wow. Justice. So, challenges may be... How slow this connection, how long this is taking for justice to come to your love life, Libra. That may be a challenge. Timing, I'm hearing in my mind, may be a challenge. This person may be separated and going through a divorce and they need to get things finalized with the justice system. That could be a challenge before you two can come together, I'm hearing, with the justice card at the bottom. What will help? What will help? Fifth card. What will help Libra and this person? The magician Just flew out and flipped up. The magician will help. Manifest them, Libra. And not, if you don't, if you're single and you don't know who this person is, and I'm not talking about love magic or love spells or manifesting a certain person. No. Write down the type of person you're attracted to and the type of person you would like your next love relationship, the type of person you want to be with. Write those characteristics down. Work with the law of attraction. Work with manifestation and scripting. Research about that. Just Google scripting, manifestation, and go from there. That will help. When, where, or how will you meet? When, where, or how will you meet? Three of Cups, I heard three months from now. Nine, the Hermit, Four of Cups. Okay. Knight of Wands at the bottom. Three of Cups, three months from now, you may meet this person in the spring. Okay. March to May. Message. March to May. I heard lilacs in bloom. Three of cups. You may meet this person through others, Libra. I heard mutual friends. The Hermit card. You could meet this person at a yoga or some type of meditation studio or through some type of class, higher learning. The Hermit, he's levitating. Literally higher learning. Okay, Libra. September is also the Hermit card. The number nine. And then you have this Four of Cups. You're not going 
to see this person coming. You will not know the day you will meet. It'll be when you do meet or you do finally communicate or come across this person, I heard their existence. Woo, the attraction will be instant. And this person is with the divine here, with the rainbow, okay? You're like, oh, it's nobody I know of. I don't like the three cups in front of me. They're pretty bare. They're pretty barren. They're just not my jive, not my type, not for me. And the spirit has this divine rainbow cup that you cannot see coming in. Four of cups. I heard the month April. The month of April. Also, cancer season, July. Switch up your routine, Libra. Freshen things up, liven things up. That rainbow color. Make room for the new. There will be lots of passion and attraction, definitely, with the Knight of Wands at the bottom. You may have to hold your, you may have to, like, restrain yourself, like, refrain yourself from moving too fast with this person. Message as well with the Knight of Wands. Let's see what the I Ching cards say. One I Ching card of love. After some pre-shuffling, we do have love yourself, Libra, at the bottom of the deck. Love yourself. And I just cut to friendship. So loving yourself and friendship may be important. Energies and relationships to be in right now. Just loving yourself, single Librans. Becoming your own best friend. Okay. Okay. 41. Wow. You got 41. That's the aging card of suffering. And you have game of love at the bottom. And the top card wants to be seen. Whoa. The tomb of love. The top card really wanted to be seen, and it's called the Tomb of Love. I feel this is an energy of someone who you may have lived with, whether this was a love or a family member that has crossed over. They may visit you at, at your home. Okay, they visit you at your home. Tomb of Love. Interesting message there. Okay, put that back at the top. We're going to read. What is this 41 suffering card? What is the message here for Libra? Step by step, every joy condenses, stiffens, freezes. It is natural law. This too is living. We would like to grasp only joy, but it is the sublime ecstasy of love that unleashes the most terrible agony. And I heard when it's lost. This, oh wow, this is not a relationship about your love life, Libra. This is a message of having loved and dealing with the loss. And this is the loss of a loved one to the other side. Like that ultimate loss. Like you can't just send them a text, pick up the phone. Just 
Is her Jim, Jimmy, Janet, Aspen, Colorado? This person, this person could have ridden on a motorbike. I just heard what sounded like, like trunk, trunk music, like bass. This person could have had a lot of bass in their car that crossed or they could have ridden motorbikes. What else? What else is the message from this passed over loved one that visits this Libra? Top card. Oh, Libra. Wow. This is how you're seen. Especially Divine Femme Librans. You got the Young Bride card. Let's read. Wow. Looking at one another at the bottom. The young bride, 54. What is the message here for Libra? For the aging, the strength of love is such that it breaks and eliminates every convention and every rule established by social norms. The oracle speaks of the superior harmony that love brings about in the world. It's a, it says all free relations between human beings are represented here. This is someone that was different from you, that you chose to love at an early age. For some of you Librans, Or this is someone coming through that passed at a young age. They adore you. You showed them what love really was, Libra, whoever this person is. Like all you see people's soul. You saw their soul. And now they see yours. I heard it's never too late for them to show you they appreciate. Wow. Ooh, that made me emotional. Okay. Ooh, let's move into the Hungarian Gypsy cards, Libra. Love reading. What's coming towards Libra? February. What's the message for Libra? Love. Love message. <laughs> Love and marriage, love and marriage goes together like a horse and carriage. Libra, love is in the air. Marriage is in the air. Ooh, and a big, nice house, a beautiful home. It doesn't have to be a big house. It will be a beautiful home. You may be moving into a new home very soon with a love, with someone you're going to marry, single Librans. This, you're going to feel like young love again. Even if you're an older Libran in your 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, it's going to feel like young love again. Yes. Yes, after loss, you or your person, widower, could be a widow or widower. Yep, you or your person will provide a sense of hope to one another. The hope card at the bottom. 
you may be able to help anchor this person back down, you know, not back down, but help anchor their emotions, the water world. You'll help anchor their emotions and give them hope, stabilize their emotions. You're going to help stabilize each other. Whoa. Couple. Widow and widower. We have the widower with the minister card. The light. Again, someone that has crossed over is working with spirit, is working with the light to bring these two people hope again, love again, light again. I'm just reading the cards. Whoa! My mind is blown, Libra. Look at this. Love and marriage. Love and marriage. Goes together like a horse and carriage. You see the card at the bottom? It's the journey card. The carriage, the horse and the carriage, literally. Thank you, spirit. That's amazing. So many of you are going to be moving, traveling towards one another, visiting foreign lands, maybe traveling across seas, across land, for sure. Movement, journeys will be made in regards to this love connection, Libra. Oh, this is so beautiful. You deserve it. You both deserve it. You both have been through a lot. Love card for Libra. Expression and friendliness at the bottom. Keep your friendly demeanor, Libra. Okay, keep that friendly demeanor. You are able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections and you have expression. You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. You or your person will express their attraction, their desire, their love for you because you've stayed in that friendly, <laughs> approachable type of energy, Libra, okay? When it comes to love, let's pull a secret garden message. We do have radiance at the bottom and it says, keep your head held high and follow the sun. Your radiant is your radiant, Libra. And be present. I love this. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past and the future. Journey into the garden to escape the two eternities, the past in the future. Be present, my friend. You're radiant. Let's pull one card. Secret garden message. Libra and love. Secret garden message. Libra and love. Top card. Play. Among the grass and wild violets lie undiscovered little secrets to uncover. It's time to get in that playful, light energy, Libra. I heard, let's get physical, physical. Come on and get physical. Maybe you're going to meet somebody at the gym or at a yoga class or maybe out at the park. You're taking a walk out in nature or you're walking at a park. I just heard dog park for some of you. You're taking your dog to the dog park. 
You may meet your person there. I don't know, Libra. It's looking lovely. You literally have love and marriage in your cards. There will, again, wow, look what was behind the journey card. Jealousy. You have a lot of onlookers watching you in this future love, Libra. This is a beautiful, I heard, love-filled journey in my mind. Thank you for joining me for your love reading. Give me a big thumbs up so I can reach more Librans here on YouTube. I appreciate you. Until next time, stay balanced and stay blessed. Peace.